going to the sideline, is it, are you retaping your ankle? Or are you stretching? Like, what, what is kind of the process that you do? Um, I mean, no, it's really anytime you have a high ankle sprain of sorts or whatever it might be and you tweak it, it just kind of is, is really painful for a second and it'll kind of subside after a few minutes. So, um, you know, it's really just going off and getting my feet back underneath me um, and getting a guy in there that can that can go 100% at, the, at those given plays. So do you sit down or do you kind of like try to walk the pain out? or, or what's Just kind of walk it off, do some calf raises. Right. And so during the week, what is the rehabbing process like? Like this week, what, what, was, what, what do you kind of do? Uh, I mean, just spend four or five hours a day in here before meetings, getting treatment, doing exercises, strengthening, you know, other components of the leg and stuff to, uh, to help support that. And, you know, our training staff does a great job with that. What, what kind specifically are they doing? Is it stretching? Is it um, just like uh, massages? Like what, what kind of stuff are they doing to the you know, ankle? A lot of mobility stuff um, to get your function back, get your range of motion back. Um, a lot of stuff to get the inflammation out, anti-inflammatory practices. Um, and yeah, those are probably the biggest two things that we do. How many painkillers, shots, things like that are you, are you having to take uh, throughout the week and then before or during games? Uh, I don't do painkillers, so I haven't taken any. Is it, have they advised you to, or is that, you know, they, they didn't feel like you needed it? Sorry, sorry. Uh, I mean, it's available if you want it, but I'm not really a medicine guy. Um, I don't really want to put myself in a situation where I can't feel something that my body's trying to tell me. Right. So <coughs> how much are you looking forward to? You know, next month you're going to have an entire month off. Uh, technically, after this game Saturday, how much are you looking forward to that? Do you feel like that'll give you enough time to where you'll be back to 100? percent Oh, sure. I mean, it's going to be great. You know, we'll have four weeks there uh, to get our feet back underneath us, get guys healthy, um, and get ready to attack the postseason. Do you feel like you've made progress through you know this time since you've hurt your ankle? Do you feel like it's getting better each week, and it's just you know maybe five percent better every single week, or, or you know, is it kind of hard to rest it once you're having to practice and play every week? No, I mean, we're getting better every week. I felt better, you know, against Syrac Syracuse than I did against Florida State and felt better at Florida State than I did against, um, you know, Northwestern. So it's, it's progressing, definitely. So how long do you think it'll take before it's back to, you know, not even a, a problem anymore? I have no idea. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll have to see. It's kind of just day by day. Um, I mean, I think we we put ourselves in a position, right? We uh, we talk about going and, and getting what you earn, or uh, working, you get what you earn. And uh, we've put ourselves in a position through our off-season training and through our commitment and dedication to one another and our preparation this season. And so the guys have earned to be 11 and 0. The guys have earned, you know, a national game on television against USC to close out this season. And uh, you know, we're ready for that moment and we're ready to seize it. I don't know, whenever you look at something, like we like to equate it to like climbing Everest, right? You look at a season and, you know, at Notre Dame, you have to go 12 and 0 to put yourself in a position to go to the playoffs, most likely. And so if you just look at it and say, dang, we got to go 12 and 0, like that's a daunting task. If you look at it like we got to be 1 and 0 at the end of every week, it doesn't look as daunting. Um, similarly, like climbing Everest, like if you look like, dang, I got to climb 29,000 feet or whatever it is. It's going to look daunting, and you're going to hurt yourself in the present moment at whatever you're doing. So I think it's just a guy's ability to just say, you know, we have to win today. You know, we have to win this week. And then you find yourself in a position, you're 11-0, and and, you know, vying for a spot in the college football playoffs. Can you describe what it's like to play in a rivalry game with USC? What is, what is the hallmark of this game between these two rivals? Oh, man, I mean, it's chippy. I mean, guys, um, both teams bring it. You know, guys will be chirping, talking. Um, you know, we're going to try to keep our talking to a minimum and just focus on our business. But um, definitely a lot of emotions play into it. And uh, when you have, you know, two historic programs with a lot of tradition, you know, it intensifies the game definitely a little bit. I was going to say, do you think that compounds the fact that they're maybe not having the best year and you guys are and they maybe want to play that spoiler? I mean, sure, they want to play the spoiler and they – they probably want to get a little bit of a re revenge after the 
you know, um, game here back at our house last year. So, you know, there's still a lot of stake for them. They're playing for a bowl game. They're playing for the Shillelagh Trophy. They're playing for bragging rights, and they're really playing to spoil our season. So there's a lot of stake.